Hi guys and welcome to today's video where I am going to be going through all the little maintenance little job things you do when you have reptiles because it's not just as simple as you get a reptile put it in a tub and occasionally you take it out you actually kind of have to <laughs> do a few other little jobs um, the first of which is looking after their food this isn't a joke like this is actually a very important part of having a reptile if their food isn't healthy they're not gonna be so gut loading is very important and you have to make sure you're giving them fresh food quite often so yes gut loading the food is incredibly important and I usually do it with vegetable scraps and I also use uh, insect fuel by Arcadia so they get quite a range and that benefits my reptiles obviously some people get a crested gecko because they think oh they don't need insects but they should still be offered because that is part of their diet and the best thing is if you do happen to be lucky enough to have a friend who has reptiles maybe you can borrow some crickets from them or I don't know something so you don't have to buy a whole pack but you can at least raise some for your crested gecko so the next joyful job is removing poop yeah normally I kind of leave it so there's like two days worth but oh my goodness oh no that's Ziggy's head I thought there was some weird yellow thing in here but it's just Zig so the reason Zig's in here is because I'm currently doing her natural tank so she's in a temporary tank um, she has filled up her calcium dish, this is another thing we'll get to in a moment, uh, but first, the poop. Now luckily uh, with my crested gecko and Chihua, they both have natural tanks so their cleanup crew clean this for me, I don't have to do this but with the leopard geckos I still need to do it and it's pretty easy, um, they just tend to go in one place and they only go once a day, occasionally you can find that they've kicked it somewhere like this. You'll see like the little white bits and then the brown bits, beautiful. But yeah, I try to leave it maybe every two or three days. You alright there, Zig? Next job, that this isn't, this doesn't always happen, but of course you have to replace this every now and again, otherwise it's not going to be that potent. But uh, the calcium dish, if you have eco up you'll find they usually get dug in and with Diego, it's he's notorious for as soon as you give him fresh calcium he'll turn it upside down. So I'm going to tip that out, so you can't see this, right, so there's only a tiny bit at the bottom, let's pop that on there, and I'm going to put in some, let's see, uh, I'm doing this all off camera which is really pointless for a video, but uh, Arcadia Calcium Pro Magnesium, tip it in, there you go, I don't want to put tons in because they're not going to use tons, but just enough. So now I have to do that with all my geckos. Next up is water changes. Now I tend to use some of these shallower dishes because I feel like it prompts you to actually make sure you change the water, you give them fresh water. Obviously if you have a big dish and it's full all the time you might not feel like you need to put in fresh water. Um, and when you have eco <laughs> once again it gets kicked in the water. So another thing that prompts you to change it. So we're going to take this out, clean it. So when I say clean it, I don't mean you have to full on disinfect it, because if you did that every day, that'd be crazy. Um, you just need to take off, just take out any of the little bits of eco earth. You all right, Diego? Right, so I'm just gonna get their water and I'm gonna just fill it up. Oh my goodness, what's this? What's that, Diego? Same goes for this little one, she has been digging like crazy, still no eggs or anything but she always fills up her water bowl. If I put fresh water in there she's gonna dig in there all over again. So recently, I don't know how well you're gonna see this but I've been filling up a, like a large water bottle lid with water and she's been using that just for the time being while she's going through this phase. Now talking of water, I find in the summer I do this more, I spray down the tank in the morning as well as the evening. In the winter I don't as much, um, especially with Lyra, because Lyra tends to just stay in her coconut a lot, so if I'm spraying this around it's probably going to dry, she's not going to benefit from it. However, 
the Chihua, who has now disappeared, is out and about a lot more in the day. So I feel like if I do spray it down, at least she gets a drink. But just quickly do this to refresh everything. And actually that brings me on to the next point. And this is more if you have a natural tank. I have found that giving it a good water with like quite a bit of water, maybe once a week or once every two weeks, probably best once a week, can really help with growth. I got this new um, little tool and it tells you if the like soil, how like dry it is and everything. And I started to find that actually a lot of my tanks were really dry. So although I would spray it often, it wasn't getting deep down in the ground. So now I get a big jug of water and give it a good old water. The next thing is if there's any feeder insects that haven't been eaten, they must be removed in like 12 to 24 hours after being offered because otherwise they will just pester your animal. They could even, if it's a millworm or a moriworm or anything like that, they can actually pupate and you'll end up with beetles in your tank. So make sure you remove any old food. That also includes any made up food for your crested gecko or chihua or any other animal that you have that has this sort of made up food. So I think that's kind of the day to day maintenance things. Obviously with some tanks like the leopard gecko tanks, every now and again I have to clean out their entire tank or once a year I need to change their bulbs. But that isn't really a day to day thing. So that's what I wanted to do today. So you just sort of know what's involved. I would also like to say, if you think you're just gonna get one leopard gecko and you're done with reptiles, it, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> you'll get one and somehow you'll end up with like 10. It's insane. Um, but you know, if you are scared of bugs and stuff like that, I think this is an ideal way of sort of getting over that fear and just dealing with them so often you don't even think about it. You just pick them up, throw them in, you're just so used to it. So anyway, Lyra is actually out at the moment, which is really strange because she's usually in her coconut. Let me just, Lyra. There you go. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any other ideas or things you encounter every day that you think a new owner or a future owner should know about, let me know in the comments section below. So thanks for watching guys and goodbye.